This year, NBA 2K13 is our first title to take advantage of the Kinect on uh, Microsoft's Xbox 360. We wanted the Kinect to be a seamless experience. And what more so than being able to direct your teammates or call plays or call for substitutions without having to bring up menus. And especially, you know, imagine in my player, come down court, I have the ball. Hey, hey, Ronnie, Ronnie, set a pick for me. And the guy comes up, sets the screen for you. And that's all you had to do to set a screen. You didn't have to hit a button, you didn't have to do absolutely anything. You know, you want to do a substitution, right? It's a four point game and you're like, dude, where's Kobe? And you look over, he's on the bench, bring in Kobe. That's all you have to say. He gets up off the bench, walks over to the scorer's table when he comes in. Bring in Kobe Bryant. Outside Flynn. And, and that's how we integrated the Connect to the game in a way that we felt was the right way to do it in a sports game. Now for the more hardcore guys, they want to run actual plays. You know, they don't want to take the time to go navigate and find, I need to play a high post play for Dirk Nowitzki, right? No, you don't, you know, you, you want to just keep doing what you're doing, see if you can take advantage of something, but you can come down and say, run a high post play for Dirk Nowitzki. And the system knows to go grab a play that's exactly what is called for, for Dirk. Pick and roll. Rocket six, picked by Griffin. Clear out. That's never become an issue, though. I mean, they're, they're rolling. Zone, 3-2. At the forward spots, Gordon Hayward and Paul Milson. That was out there. When you make these games, a lot of times you always want to have fun with it, you know? And, and so the Kinect gave us that opportunity. Like you're winning a playoff game and you want to you douse your coach, you can actually say, Gatorade, dunk them. And they'll go over and they'll, and, they'll, and they'll dunk them. It's just one of those things that is kind of cool. You see it on TV, you want to be able to do it. You know, So it's, it's things like that that the Kinect has uh, given us this year. That's red. I have no yeah. idea. You didn't know it did that? Yeah, what you thought this video was over, people? Nah, I'm back. Yeah, I got a lot to say right now. Wow, Microsoft Connect. I'm liking it so far. Did you see the things that you could do in the video? First off, let me use this first video to actually go over what Rob Jones was talking about. Everything in this video looks fluid. It looks good. And look at the gameplay. They're showing us gameplay. Literally, they're showing us gameplay, guys. You wanted gameplay, you wanted to see how the graphics look, you wanted the real first look at HD footage from all different angles. This is it. This is what y'all wanted. This is what I was seeing at NBA 2K13 team up. And now your eyes for the viewers, all of y'all, y'all get to see what I'm talking about. But basically, Rob Jones was saying that with Connect, you're you can actually call plays way easier than navigating through any pad or anything like that look at how kobe is coming off the bench right now just say bring in kobe wow i can't wait to do that with my sixers oh man it's gonna look good it's gonna be so fluid but what i will say is notice how they call it pick and rolls notice how players aren't in the way anymore look at how the pick and roll can work Look at how no player just dove out of nowhere and stole the ball. It's little features like that and little gameplay tweaks that you got to see that it works. Now in this play, they're calling for a high post play. Everybody cleared out. They got Dirk on the wing in his sweet spot. He could do whatever he likes. Now in this gameplay, look at the pick and roll that they run with Blake. Look at the defender right there. He wasn't even in the play. Look at LeBron telling everybody clear out. I got this. This is what I do. Now with Connect, I'm saying that you can call the most simple actions without having to be, you know, totally tormented by having to say, oh, call PHI Alley 3 just to get the play rolling. You, you can just put out simple commands, get the job done. Now look at this. You can tell Connect to get my coach wet, that was my coach, whatever. Just dump the whole Gatorade bottle on the coach. And I'm liking that feature in this game. Y'all wanted more interaction with the fans, with the crowd, with the players. That right there shows improvement. I like it so far. It's, it's really looking good. Now, the other things that I want to jump into gameplay-wise, 
I'm gonna have it roll back. Now, all my PS3 users, I'm sorry. I know y'all mad because y'all don't got Connect, but listen, I got an Xbox 362, so you know I gotta go grab Connect. It's only right. Why not? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but let me jump into it. Now, a few things that I saw in the gameplay, I noticed like players' faces and body structures and stuff like that. Those are the little things that you have to notice within the gameplay. And as soon as the gameplay pops up, I'm gonna basically get into it. Now look at this. Look at the player's interaction. Notice how he's telling players to move out the way. You do this, you do that. That's a new feature in the game. Usually when you call the play, your man just stood there dribbling the ball until the play was ready. Now he's protecting the ball, he's getting the play ready, everybody's interacting, everybody's either clearing out or getting to their set spots on the screen. It's looking good so far. Now, that play that I saw when the guy said bring in Kobe and he just, you know, got up off the bench and walked over, that's something very, very big because you notice in NBA 2K12, if a player was getting subbed in, sometimes he'll slide to the scoreboard or he wouldn't even get up or he'll be sitting down and just appear on the court. And if you go to the replay, you'll see him sitting on the court on certain glitches. So it's a lot that's been changed in NBA 2K13. Also, if you notice that pick and roll that just happened with the Spurs, you notice that somebody was out at the three-point line and could have easily passed it to them for the three just because their player chose to commit and to help out on that play. Also, in the post-up, you notice how everybody was cleared out. It was looking fluid. Now look at this play right here. He calls a pick and roll. Nobody comes over to help. Look at the guy at the foul line. He didn't even know what was going on in that play because he's worried about somebody totally different. Now look at Westbrook. Westbrook didn't even want to help out. That's what real basketball is sometimes. Sometimes you got to make the choice to commit. Sometimes you don't. And so far, it's looking really, really good. I'm liking it, man. Now, in this last clip, now we're going to look at something that's going on. A lot of people want to crowd interaction. Look at the fans going wild. When they dumping that stuff on them, look at them going wild. The crowd is hype. Everybody see that they won. It's, it's looking good, guys. It's looking real good. So, with that being said, RIP to NBA Live 13. Rest in peace, DLC. That's how I'm going to put that. But this is IKC signing out. If you want more info about NBA 2K13 or NBA Live 13, you know where to hit me up, Batman. Twitter, that's where I be. But I'm out. Peace.